In this video, we're demonstrating kinetic theory. To complete this experiment, you will need a signal generator, such as this one by Unilab, 4mm electrical leads, and also a Philip Harris vibration generator with an accessory kit, which contains the plastic disc, coloured balls, and transparent tube that you require for this experiment. To set up the experiment, screw the black disc from the accessory set onto the armature of the vibration generator and place the Perspex tube over the top. Connect the vibration generator to the power signal generator using standard 4mm leads from the vibration generator to the low impedance sockets on the power signal generator. Turn on the power signal generator allowing a few seconds for it to power up. Select Sine Wave and set the frequency selector to 10 to 110 Hz. Adjust the large frequency dial to around 50 Hz. With the amplitude selector set as low as it will go, add the coloured balls into the tube and slowly adjust the amplitude to approximately 1 volt. This motion represents molecules in a liquid which are gradually changing places but never becoming very far apart. Raise the amplitude to increase the average kinetic energy of the balls. Evaporation is represented when a ball acquires enough energy to escape momentarily from its neighbours. When the amplitude is at the maximum, the separation between the balls will be more than 10 diameters. This represents a gas. Following on from this experiment, we're going to demonstrate resonance using a Kaladny plate. For this experiment, you'll need the Philip Harris vibration generator with accessory kit containing the Kaladny plate, a Unilab power signal generator, 4mm connecting leads, sand or another freely running powder, and a tray to collect any excess sand or powder. To set up the experiment, connect the vibration generator to the power signal generator using standard 4mm leads from the vibration generator to the low impedance sockets on the power signal generator. Screw the Kaladny plate onto the armature and sprinkle lightly with any freely running powder. In our experiment, we're using sand. Turn on the power signal generator, allowing a few seconds for it to power up. Select Sine Wave. Adjust the amplitude to approximately 3 volts, which is just over halfway. Set the frequency selector to 0.1 to 1.1 kHz. Slowly increase the large frequency dial through the range. At several frequencies, the plate can be heard to resonate the sand will move until it reaches nodal line. We hope you found this practical advice useful. For expert technical support, contact the Philip Harris technical team on tech support at philipharris.co.uk or visit our blog at philipharris.co.uk forward slash blog.